Hello, welcome to this week's series on learning Adobe Premiere Pro. In our previous series that we started last week, we talked about introduction to Adobe Premiere Pro. If you have not watched that video, I will kindly like you to watch that video. I dropped a link to that video on the description below. So watch it before you come and continue here so you will follow up. Okay. In this week's series, we are going to concentrate and learn how to use the Razor tool in the Debris Premiere Pro. How to use the Razor tool, this is the Razor tool, and also how to import a video for editing. Okay, we are also going to learn how to create a sequence. Without creating a sequence, there is no how you can edit a video. So, sequence gives you the platform. For you to import your video and also create them so let's start we are going to do three things number one creating a sequence number two importing a video and number three learning how to edit by using the razor tool so let's start but before we do that if you are new to my channel i would kindly like you to subscribe like and also turn on the notification bell so that when i post videos like this centered around learning softwares like Adobe Premiere Pro and also how to make money online you will be the first to see it and also learn the information so without further ado let us begin like I said we are going to do three things the first thing we are going to do is to create a sequence to create a sequence we simply go to our file we go to new under the new you see our sequence here and I see control N which means sequence so let's go there and click it sequence now it will now pop up and show us different types of sequence that we can choose from we have the very variety of them that are variable they are all called presets but the one I like using is the 1080p under AVCHD 1050 you can also choose to use 1030 which is also fine okay when you come down here the sequence name you choose a sequence name so let's choose the sequence name to be practice practice one when you're comfortable with what you have you simply click your ok so it will now create a sequence for you giving you the platform where you can do your editing so the next thing we do now is to import the video so you can import the video by using the media library either you click on the media library and go through your local drives folder or you go back and double click here and it will open up your media folder so I'm going to open my desktop I dropped it on my desktop this is the video that you want to use for this tutorial I'm simply going to click on it and hit my open it will now be imported to the media browser library so from here you simply hold it down with your mouse pressing it down and move it over to the tracker Okay, here it will then divide it into two. The upper section is the video, which is the display, while the lower section is the audio. So you can be editing both of them and working in sequence. Like I said, the next thing we are going to do is to learn how to cut. So you can play a video from here. You can also double click to play the video for a preview here like I explained to you in our previous series and I said from here you can play a preview of the video to see how it looks like like I'm playing it now this is the video okay I want to edit this by cutting out some parts like I said you can do that from here by cutting out which means 
cutting out some parts you go we are going to explore and use the razor tool this is the razor tool you come here and select it once you select it you will see that your cursor will change showing you this razor sign so what the razor sign means is that wherever you place the mouse and click it it will cut that place or that particular place into two dividing both the video which is the screen part and also the audio part into two so when you click on it now i see it, it has divided it you also click here it has also divided it so we have two divided places we have one two and also we have this last one which is three so you can choose after you must have finished cutting you drop your tool by using the selection tool so the result tool is dropped so you can also want to do other cutting by going back and select the result tool you cut you cut you cut so this is how to cut so to remove this part simply hold down your mouse down then you can move it out and it will be out from that particular section showing that it has been cut so this is how to use the razor tool to cut videos and also how to work and import your videos and create sequence in our next video we are going to talk about how to do the proper editing by removing some parts how to measure by many seconds microseconds and also how to change different pattern of our editing so we'll talk about more on how to edit and also how to do micro editing in our next video so i will simply want you to be part of that video i hope you learned something from this video please if you're new to my channel i will kindly like you to subscribe and also hit the notification bell share it to your friends so that next time when i post this kind of video you will be the first to get notified and get the knowledge on that note i'm going to see you on the next video